television will come back to the channel in today's video in see short answer question from subject design and analysis of algorithm that is that here will be some short answer question which will come for two marks in examination question number 1 list asymptotic notation we know that asymptotic notation but first we need to define it asymptotic notation are used to measure efficiency of algorithm it is used to measure time complexity of algorithm there are three types first is big o notation omega notation and theta notation write the name and the symbol used for this notation second question what is divide and control strategy it is used to find out optimal solution of a problem here we are dividing the problem into the sub part or into the sub problem decompose the given problem into two or more similar but simpler sub problems to solve them in a sum and to compose the solution to solve the given problem and the example of this strategy is six for mark for approach define dynamic programming what is mean by the dynamic programming dynamic programming is also used in optimization problems here like a divide and conquer we are First, broken down the problem into sub problems. The results are same, and then sub problems are optimized to find the overall solution. Dynamic programming algorithm solves each sub problem just once, and then saves its answer in a table, thereby avoiding the work of recomputing the answer every time. And the example of this is zero one knapsack method. It will come under the dynamic programming. Which data structures are used for implementing DSS and DSS? We are using the stack data structure to implement the DSS. And to implement the DSS, we can use the Q data structure. We can write The example of this here you can draw the one diagram one tree and you can write the DSS and DSS of the given tree. Next question: The difference between fixed tuple and variable tuple formulation. So what is meant by variable tuple type formulation? See, age is labeled such that an age from a level i node. To a level i plus one node represents the value for the time. Each node partitions the solution space into sub-solution spaces. Solution space is defined by the path from root node to any node in the tree. And fixed tuple size formulation is ages level such that ages from a level i node to level i plus one node. Represent the value for x i, which is either zero or one. Solution space is defined by all path from the root node to loop node. See the difference. The solution space is defined by the path from the root node to any node in the tree. Here, all path from the root node to loop node. Loop subtree defines all subsets containing the W one. Right subtree defines all the subsets not containing the W one. Thus, two and loop nodes representing the all possible tuples. Next question: What do you mean by branch and bound? Branch and bound is an algorithm design paradigm which is generally used for solving combinatorial optimization problems. These problems are typically exponential in terms of time complexity, and many require exploring all possible permutations in worst case. In branch and bound, we construct the solution space tree to find 
the node given the optimal solution energy. Here we are considering the two examples Nepo branch and bound and Tepo branch and bound. Here again we are using the DFS and DFS technique here. That is, we are again using the concept of stack and queue. Explain optimal storage on a test problem. So, what is this problem? If you have given the n program C1 to Cn of length L1 to Ln respectively, how to store them on a test of length L such that mean retrieval time is minimum? The retrieval time of the jth program is a summation of the length of first j program on test. Let Pj be the time to retrieve the program Pj. The retrieval time of Pj is computed as here we are considering Pj equals to equals to 1 Pj summation of all. The length of jth program is L. Next question, define big O notation. Big O notation, it is actually the asymptotic notation. We are using it for time complexity and big O notation is the tool used to describe the time complexity of algorithm. It calculates the time taken to run algorithm as an input grows. It calculates the worst case time complexity of an algorithm. Big O notation in data structure describes the upper bound of an algorithm's runtime. Next question. Show that there is no solution to two twin problem. We know the rules while arranging the twins in a table. No any other row in a same row, ten column and in diagonal. The two twin problem is not solvable because two twins can be placed on two Cross two test codes as likely. You can uh, place here or here or here or here or here. But all these cases are illegal because, as per the rule, we can, cannot arrange the elements in the same row or in the same column or in a diagonal direction. So, there is a no solution to two twin problems. Define articulation point and bridge edge. What is mean by articulation point? Articulation point is said to be an articulation point in a graph if renewal of the vertex and associated edges disconnect the graph. Means, suppose this is a graph. When you are removing the vertex 1, this point 1, then when you are removing this, you will get the two different disconnected graphs. Bridge edge. Bridge edge means the edge which connecting the two different graphs. Okay, so, you, so when you are removing that particular edge, you will get the two different disconnected graphs. An edge is an undirectional connected graph is a bridge if removing it disconnect, disconnects the graph or a bridge is defined as an edge which when you remove Make the graph disconnected. Discuss the implicit and explicit constraint in the state space tree. Explicit constraint. The constraint in which the solution must be in a fixed domain is called as explicit constraint. Implicit constraint. The rule that defines the base. The exercise are relating to each other are implicit constraints. Here, first is explicit, second is implicit constraint is G. What is Upman greedy algorithm? Upman coding is a long place data compression algorithm. Upman code is a data compression algorithm which uses the greedy technique for its implementation. The algorithm is based on the frequency of the characters appearing in a pulse. The idea is to assign variable length codes to input characters, length of the assigned
design tools are based on the frequencies of corresponding characters. Thank you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it. Best of luck for your exam.